Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. Holiday events are coming up, so in the next three videos, I'm going to do a holiday DIY costume series where I'll show you how to make this sleeveless trolley top, this super easy no sew skirt, and these star appliques. You'll be ready for holiday half lap. In this video, we'll make this sleeveless trolley top. A trolley top is one of the most requested costume pieces to do a tutorial for and I finally made one. From the front, it looks like a cute simple trolley or crop top. But from the back, boom, you've got a cute bow with tassels and a big bow. It's nice and fitted and you can adjust the fit with the ties. Let's get started. To make this sleeveless trolley, you need stretch fabric. You need half a yard or half a meter four-way stretch fabric. Matching color thread. Paper for pattern making. Any paper would do. I'm using leftover wrapping paper. A fitted tank top to use as a pattern. Cores. I'm using two types today. One for making tassels, six meters of it. And the other one for creating ties, one and a half meters. First, fold your tank top in half lengthwise and place it along the straight edge of your pattern paper and simply trace along the outline of the tank top. Here, if you want, you can make the neckline deeper or shallower, whatever you like. From the top of the shoulder seam, measure 13 inches or 33 centimeters down. This will be the bottom edge of the trolley top. Then add a half an inch or one centimeter seam allowance all around the pattern except for the straight edge. Then cut along the lines. Now you have your trolley pattern. Next, fold your stretch fabric in half and make sure the fold is perpendicular to the direction of stretch. It's four-way stretch so the fabric stretches both ways anyway, so the stretchier way should be perpendicular to the fold. Place the pattern on the fabric and the straight edge should be right on the fold. Trace the pattern and cut along the lines. This is your front panel. Next, fold the pattern at the inside edge of the shoulder seam lengthwise. Place the folded pattern on your fabric and the direction of the stretchier way is parallel to the bottom edge of your pattern. Trace the pattern. On the fold of the pattern, we'll measure 5 inches or 12 centimeters from the bottom. Then from the bottom, measure 2 inches or 5 centimeters out. And from that point, measure 3 inches or 7 centimeters up. Connect these two points with a nice curve. Then from the bottom of the pattern, measure 20 inches or 50 centimeters and draw a straight line. From the line, measure 3 inches or 7 centimeters and connect the lines. This long section is going to be one of the ties in the back. Flip the pattern and repeat the steps to create the other side of the back panel. Cut along the lines and you get these two panels. From here, it's really simple. Place the front panel and back panels right sides together and sew together the shoulder seams and the side seams with the zigzag stitch or any other stretch stitch you like. Then fold in all raw edges half an inch or one centimeter towards the wrong side like this. You can fold even the curved sections like the neckline and armholes and do a zigzag stitch all the way around. And your trolley top looks like this. Here's what it looks like from the outside and inside. Next, take your cord for ties and cut it into two pieces that are 20 inches or 50 centimeters long. Put these pieces aside and keep the leftover piece separately. Take your cord for tassels and use half of it to make your first tassel. For this one, I simply wrap the cord around my fingers. 
Take one of the 20 inch cords and put it under all the tassel cord and make sure it doesn't fall apart. Take it off your hand and make a tight knot. Then take the leftover cord and wrap it around the tassel cord a couple of times and make a knot. Take scissors and cut all the loops and you get a cute tassel. Repeat the steps to make another one. I applied a drop of fabric glue to each knot so the knots won't unravel later. Take the end of the cord with a tassel and place it at 1 inch or 2.5 cm from the shoulder seam on the back and simply sew it there. Do the same for the other side. And that's it! It's nice and simple, so it's great for practice wear or a performance costume. You can adjust the neckline to show your decorated bra from the inside. I just love the two bows at the back. And the way they fly as you move is so cute. Hope you like this tutorial and share it with your dancer friends. In my next video, you'll see how to make the matching skirt. Believe it or not, it's a no-sew project. Sign up for the Sparkly Belly newsletter so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!